So the next generation games are gonna cost seventy dollars. What the hell? But before we get to this video, let's get to the question of the day. Alright, so stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the answer to the question of the day. Alright, so I just read this article and apparently, well, some analyst douche said that the next gen games are going to cost $70, a $10 bump from the $60 base price of, uh, you know, launch titles, oh, not launch titles, but uh, brand new uh, releases. Uh, this guy named Mactel, M Michael Pactor, X, up with my reading skills, uh, believes sticker price for next gen software is going to be uh, bumped up to ten dollars, and I, you know what, that is realistic, and that seems to be the direction of pricing. It does seem to make sense from a uh, pricing point of view and the technology you know I mean it's like okay we have the next gen with even more power even more memory but stronger technology you go from a base of 50 back in the last gen all right the sixth generation and then a 60 in the seventh generation and 70 in the current generation I don't know if you're gonna try to keep up with some sort of you know the inflation thing and they want to sort of keep up with that but it wouldn't surprise me but I think that 70 is way too fucking much uh, granted, in the 90s, video game prices were very high as well. Cartridges were overpriced, especially like Super Nintendo, N64 games. Cartridges were, f I mean, they were just way too pricey and expensive. And I'm not even mentioning like the Neo Geo stuff like that, which were, you know, rarer and harder to find, and they, were, they cost a lot more. But, I mean, even just, you know, typical Super Nintendo game was fairly expensive so you know it, the only thing is that you know the PS4 guys said that the PS4 games will be 60 bucks so it's not gonna be 70 it's gonna be maxed out at 60 which is gonna maintain that standard at $60 uh, price tag <sighs> maybe this could apply for Microsoft you know that's wouldn't be surprised with that one either um, depending on you know I think it depends on what games because there are some games out there that cost f fucking more than 60 uh, people remember I mean remember fucking I think it's like Bioshock 2 so I think it was the limited edition or special edition or whatever the hell it was but that was like eighty dollars seventy eighty dollars or some shit pretty fucking pricey so there are certain games that will cost more than 60 to begin with and uh, you know that's a that's a shame though, because when that happens, I'm, there's no way in hell I'm gonna buy new games at all. There's so much more shit you can buy with seventy dollars, you know, let alone sixty. Um, in terms of you know, in the used market on Craigslist, etc. There's just so much more you can save up the money and buy bundles, and <laughs> there's no point of me just wasting my wallet on that kind of shit it doesn't matter there's no game good enough that's fucking warranted seventy dollars because first of all most games now are very short unless it's like a RPG or some shit like that like a Skyrim or something most games are very uh, they're very quick because they have a lot of checkpoints and they're quite easy to, to beat and finish and complete I mean, you know, recently I just went through certain games like uh, Enslaved and Battlefield Bad Company 2 and it's like, yeah, they're really good and high quality and shit and the presentation and the visuals are amazing, but they're very short, you know, I beat them in like less than two days, you know, w with a steady play rate of maybe about, I don't know, four, four hours every day, you know, four or five hours a day. so. Not, not, not very long games, I mean, uh, you're overpaying for a lot of these titles, and uh, it sucks, you know, I think the pricing stinks if it's going to be 70 uh, 
this is going back to the cartridge era where holy shit and we were fucking stupid back then you know i feel like a complete fool and a complete sucker for buying like 70 80 90 dollar fucking cartridges from nintendo and they're fucking bullshit this is why i hate nintendo to this day you know i still play nintendo but i, I can't stand them as a company them and their shitty ass cartridges fuck that but you would think that discs in particular would be a lot cheaper put it this way i mean holy fuck movies aren't that expensive like blu-rays are not that pricey like a single film that just came out you know just right now you know it just comes out 2013 it's not gonna cost fucking 70 dollars that's ridiculous I understand that games are longer and you know they take more time and maybe you can argue it's more entertainment and for the most part yeah it is you know your experience it's a game you know it's maybe an eight to ten hour experience compared to a hour and a half movie but still it's like fuck that I'm not wasting shit on a $70 game but the thing is I don't know I don't know if this pricing is right though because this Michael Pactor guy like what kind of qualifications this guy has you know let's focus on this Pactor dude now is this guy what kind of credibility did this dude have he he talked about how the Wii U is underwhelming the system is essentially a DS split into two parts it's not innovative enough to drive a wide interest and he thinks that the Wii U will sell 30 to 50 million in its lifetime and the PS4 and 720 is going to go around 85 to 95 million. All right. And he also mentioned how this, the next generation of consoles, is probably the last generation of consoles. Uh, you know, very interesting uh, point of view, though. I mean, uh, there are certain things where I go, yeah, it makes you think. But I, I have no idea. He's from Wedbush Securities an analyst at the presentation from South by Southwest $70 games man I wonder like what's the most expensive uh, release date game that's like normal average like you know not a special edition or a limited bullshit bundle edition but just a normal regular game that has that regular price like what was its regular uh, release price you know, and not fucking games that came out, like, you know, 10 years ago and are now worth, like, $80, you know. You know, you just kind of wonder, how much did that game really cost when it came out? You know, I'm, th I'm thinking of the Neo Geo titles. I mean, they were around, like, 100 plus or something like that when they came out. Or was it 200? I can't even, I don't even know, because Neo Geo was apparently really expensive back in the day. Oh, wait a minute. Um, oh shit. Action 52 wasn't... Uh, yeah, how much was Action 52? Let me look that shit up. Action 52... I heard it was 200 fucking dollars. That is... Yeah, holy shit. It initially retailed for the comparatively high price of US $199. Oh my fucking god. Less than four dollars each game. What a ripoff that shit. Oh my god. What a scam. It was for the NES and it came out in 1991. What a waste of money. Two hundred dollars then in, in the early 90s. Holy crap. Could've, <laughs> could've bought yourself like multiple systems and many games for that. Oh my. Talk, talk about a waste of money. I mean, that's the definition of... I guess, at the very least, you know, games aren't that, you know, ridiculously overpriced. There's going to come a time when games are going to be like $100 and people are going to be like, this is ridiculous. No, it's not going to be... Actually, no, because it's going to be normal. Maybe like in, in 2,500, uh, games are like 200 bucks because of the, I don't know, the inflation. Because I'm thinking, um, let's say game video games were around, let's say, f 60 years ago. They probably would have been, been around maybe 5 to $10 at launch. You know, that's kind of realistic. I don't know. 
Alright, so this was the answer to the question of the day.